everyone, Darren again, and this time we're here to look at Google Classroom and how you can create comment banks to speed up your marking and feedback. So let's dive right in to Google Classroom. So I'm here in my Google Classroom, and the first thing we'll notice is that in the stream, there's no assignments sitting there. I've hidden those using the, the settings cog at the top right hand side here. Okay, that's the first and most important thing. Turn that off. So we're gonna to go to classwork and we can see here that I have assigned tasks and we can see individual tasks that have been completed. Okay, so I've got finding work, introduce yourself, and it's this one that I want to mark. So I'm gonna view the assignment and you can see that there's two pieces of work being done. Um, and I'm going to assume, just for the benefit of today, that this one hasn't been filled in. So I've given Toby a mark of four out of four for this, but I'll just move myself over here. Uh, what I've said, I'd love to see a photo for four marks, and then I've not answered, uh, not added any more. So you can see that clearly at some point, I've said he needs to add a photo for four marks. He's added a photo, and then I've given him four marks. So there's a reference of dialogue there but nothing more than that at this stage. However, if I want to, I can create comments about any of his work using the comment feature. So for here, for example, um, I could click on the comment and we get the comment arrive, the comment add button here. And I might say, uh, nice photo, for example. And if you notice something popped up then, um, and it's something that's already in my photo bank, uh, sorry, already in my comment bank. Uh, and so I can just click on that and comment, and it automatically adds that to my comment bank for me. I can then scroll down and I can say, ah, Athens, fantastic. I'm going to comment on that. I think that's awesome. And there we can see it's already popping up for me. Okay. So we can create our own comment bank, as we've done here in a very, very simple way, okay? And the way we get to our comment bank is up here, okay? So I'll just highlight this area here. We've got two areas. This is the page we're on at the moment, the format at the moment, and this is what opens up our comment bank. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there. So you can see I've already got some very general comments already in my comment bank, and it just allows me to add. I can go up to add to comment bank, and I can create any comment I like. For example, I could say here, please explain your thinking. Okay. And I just click add, and that adds it to my comment bank. I might ask something else like, um, share with a partner for their feedback. It could literally be anything I want, okay? It might be um, add a diagram or image to your work be anything we like okay literally free type and then when i'm marking all i need to do i can hide that comment bank it doesn't have to sit there so i could be going add a photo of yourself okay um, so i can highlight here and i can just say for example um let's use add as soon as i type in add add a diagram or image to your work pops up and i can comment that okay if i come down to here to the sanya I might say, for example, explain and near you see it. Please explain your thinking pops up and it just saves me writing things over and over again. So these comment banks are really, really useful in order um, to speed up your marketing process. Okay, hope you find that useful.